Here are the top 10 food ingredients that you should absolutely avoid and why. Number one, artificial sweeteners. We're talking about aspartame, sucralose, saccharine, acesulfame, neotame, and in Europe, cyclamate. They massively disrupt the gut microbiome, causing weight gain and obesity, and are suspected carcinogens, so possibly causing cancer. But they increase mortality in general, so this is something that you definitely want to avoid. If you need to sweeten something, I always recommend very small amount of natural uh, uh, sweeteners, like stevia, monk fruit, allulose, um, xylitol, erythritol, but only small amounts of those. Number two, artificial food colors. We're talking about colors followed by numbers on the label. For example, blue one, red 40, and so on. They contain petroleum and are manufactured in a chemical process that includes formaldehyde, aniline, hydroxide, and sulfuric acid. Sounds yummy. Impurities like lead, arsenic, and mercury may be present as well. Now, we have known that they exacerbate symptoms of ADHD and autism in children since the 1970s. And the neurotoxic effect of artificial food colors is known since 2011. In fact, they may be linked to the development of autism in children. Yet to date, the FDA still allows them as they have not yet had time to study their effect on children. Well, no surprise there. Artificial food colors are banned in several countries or must include warning labels in the European Union, for example. Number three, BHA and BHT, butylated hydroxyanosol and its evil cousin, butylated hydroxytoluene. Now, they are frequently added to cereals, gums, baked goods, butter, potato chips, and so on to prevent fats from oxidizing. And while the FDA, no surprise, considers them safe, the NIH recognizes them as a possible carcinogen, and California lists BHA as a carcinogen on Prop 65. They are also endocrine disruptors, so they mess with our hormones. Now, a reasonable alternative is vitamin E. So if you see that as a preservative on the label, it should be OK. Europe, Japan, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand have banned BHA and BHT, recognizing their link to cancer, hormone disruption, and impaired blood clotting. Number four, potassium bromate. Now, this is added frequently to flour to strengthen the dough and make it rise higher. So in the end, the bread is fluffier and lighter, right? It's really yummy stuff. Unfortunately, it's classified as a possible human carcinogen, and it is banned in Europe and in Canada. Now, in the US, it is often listed as bromated flour. So when you see that, that means potassium bromate is in there. Number five, titanium dioxide. This is a white pigment used to make colors brighter in foods and in paint. Now, the EU labels titanium dioxide as not safe for human consumption, and the World Health Organization classifies it as a possible carcinogen. California is currently suing the makers of Skittles for containing titanium dioxide, and they use it in there to make the colors pop out more and make the surface of these candies smoother. Now, the industry claims that the amounts used in foods and cosmetics are very small, and the type of titanium dioxide particles used is too big, so it's a non-nano size to be absorbed. But I'm pretty sure they're not going to go around measuring each shipment that comes in from overseas to see what those particles look like, and uh, I'm not going to buy that. Number six, seed oils. We're talking about soybean oil, cottonseed oil, canola oil, and so on. They're also called vegetable oils, which is a complete misnomer, and it's just a marketing gimmick. There's no vegetables in there. These oils are made in chemical plants, often using extractants like hexane to extract the oils. The sludge is then chemically deodorized and clarified. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? Now, these oils are very high in omega-6 linoleic acid and linked to inflammation and heart disease as well as mitochondrial damage, and therefore, in my opinion, linked to cancer and autoimmune disease as well. Now, the American Heart Association will still say, hey, eat more of this stuff because it lowers your LDL cholesterol a little bit. And that's true. But again, these uh, oils are highly inflammatory. They're very unnatural for us. Our ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 is really terrible right now. It used to be closer to 1 to 1. Now it's 20 to 1, 20 coming from these seed oils, from this omega-6 linoleic acid. This stuff, again, is strongly correlated, at least, with disease of modern times. We're talking cancer, heart disease, and so on. And while correlation, of course, doesn't equal causation, this is an extremely strong correlation, and I would definitely avoid those. Number seven, MSG, monosodium glutamate, a flavor enhancer. It's linked to central nervous system disorders, obesity, and liver damage, although data is not completely consistent here. And I must say this, compared to other problematic ingredients, MSG is lower on my list. However, it's you know, mostly in ultra-processed foods that I'm trying to avoid anyway. 
Number eight, hydrogenated oils. We're talking about margarine, vegetable shortening, fried foods, coffee creamers. And they're also known as trans fats. Now, they are so bad that even the FDA has banned them to some extent. Um, they're linked to heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune disease. Um, they're not found that often anymore. But again, they're still present in some products, and I just really, really avoid those. Number nine, high fructose corn syrup. Now, of course, very high in calories. It's made artificially from cornstarch, where glucose is converted to fructose in the chemical process. So corn in the U.S., 90% of corn is GMO and sprayed with glyphosate. That's already bad. And then it's mostly in you know, sodas and fast foods and stuff like that. So most products that have this, I would definitely avoid. And number 10, bleached flour. So the flour is first refined. So the wheat grain is stripped of its bran and germ, leaving only the endosperm, which is then milled and bleached with chlorine gas or benzoyl peroxide. So the flour has less nutrients and may contain some chemicals from the bleaching process. Also, if it's not organic, it's likely that it was sprayed with glyphosate. So that's another thing we don't really want, right? So bleached flour, anything that contains that, I would definitely cut out. So please um, subscribe and leave a comment or question. I definitely read those and would love to hear if there's any additional ingredients that you're trying to avoid. Thank you.